A riddle of several years finally solved by men of the intelligence response team. They unraveled the identity of this notorious high-profile kidnapper, Chukwudidu Meme Onwama Dike, also known as Evans. Leading intelligence officials to his place of abode along Fred Shoboyede Road in Magudu area of Lagos. One can only imagine the elements that make up this magnificent structure. A reflecting automated steel gate provides the only entrance into the compound, closely watched by closed circuit cameras. Power supply is no problem here, as that is taken care of by these generating sets. Speaking later on the gang's operations from Lagos to Anambra, Edo and Port Harcourt, the suspect claims his arrest was difficult for authorities owing to the fact that they only converge at a meeting point for their operations and sharing of ransom. I started in Anambra. Then from Anambra, I moved to Edo. Then I come to Lagos. I have people that give me information. Mm -hmm. Each time I, go, I want to go for pressure, I will connect on phone. I will, I will call them on phone, mm. like let me so so and so place, okay. before we start going for the operation. Mm. We will do kid we will kidnap. The highest mm. money we collected is from first time, one million dollars, mm. from somebody even in first time. At the state police headquarters in Keja, Lagos, recovered arms, thousands of ammunition, locally made chain for victims and gang members, including a couple are all on display. The arrival of the King King raises the temple in this parade as is welcomed with shouts and chants. The arrest of Evans and his gang member is the beginning to the end of kidnapping and other violence in this country. This latest arrest may bring some relief to residents of Lagos and its environs. The expectation, however, is that police will be able to rescue those still in captivity of those kidnappers and ultimately put an end to the menace. In the meantime, the increasing number of kidnapping on the Abuja Kaduna.